But first tonight, a Wilkes County woman who spent 30 years in prison for the murders of her grandparents will soon be free. April Barber was 15 at the time of the murders. Now she's 46. I interviewed her in prison seven years ago as she served two life sentences. WFMY News 2's Grace Holland talked to her husband and her attorney about today's clemency. Chad, as you know, clemency is what April Barber has been working toward for several years. Her husband, who met her while she was in prison, talked to me after his first call with Barber since her commutation was announced. It ain't sunk in on her yet. William Scales finding out his wife of nearly 10 years will leave prison 30 years into serving two life sentences. And I told her, you'll probably, it probably hit you tonight when you lay down to go to sleep. You'll probably cry yourself to sleep because I'll probably cry myself to sleep myself. April Barber, now 46, was 15 when she killed her grandparents with the help of her 29-year-old boyfriend. We talked to her in prison back in 2015 as she began seeking clemency for the murders. It was never a matter of us wanting to kill them. It was just like, gosh, what can we do to just scare them, to just let, you know, just get, us, get them off our back. Barber was pregnant at the time of the murders and says her grandparents didn't want her to keep the baby. She and her boyfriend set fire to the Wilkes County home while her grandparents were inside. She's been serving two life sentences for their deaths since 1992. Barbara told us in 2015 why she felt she deserved clemency. I think I have proven myself um, as far as that I have changed. Like I said, then I'm not the same irrational person. And I think that my story in itself could help deter people from making the same mistakes that I did. Her attorney, Don Vaughn, says she's changed, earning her GED and paralegal certificate while incarcerated. She has certainly bettered herself 100%, taking full responsibility for this. And thank goodness Governor Cooper gave her the second chance. Governor Roy Cooper commuted her sentence following changes to state law, increasing the minimum age to be tried as an adult to 18 years old. She deserved it. She need a second chance. Her husband is now counting the days to her release. It will be the first time he's seen her outside of prison. Probably squeeze her so tight she might get broke. You know, give her a great big hug. Vaughn says Barbara could be released in about two weeks. He also says she has a job lined up to be a paralegal.